Hi, I'm doing a job that I normally do at this time of year and that is to be potting on or potting up the bulb bills from perennial alliums. So some onion family, perennial alliums, and there are many different ones, uh, put up a stem and they make lots of little bulb bills on the top, it looks like cloves of garlic. Uh, and sometimes if the weather conditions are right, they start to sprout like these here and they're very keen to get going. This is the time of year. So normally there's a stem, they fall over and then they root where they are. Um, some of these could be stored for later. They've not sprouted yet, but quite a few of them have already started to do that. And the other day I started this job. So I started potting on uh, individual cloves into these modules. And I'm also doing a few pots with uh, whole clusters of bulb bills in. Now why am I doing this? Well perennial alliums are good to have. You can eat the leaves and they're very good things to have but they're also very good uh, nurse plants for mycorrhiza. So when I come to plant my trees, bare root trees in the winter, what I like to do is rather than just put in some of the mycorrhizal sporulate and stuff that you can buy in a packet rather than just put my bare root tree in and then sprinkle some of that around it. What I like to do is to plan ahead, which is what I'm doing now because it's a few months before we're planting trees, is to pot them up, pot, put up these alliums with some compost and some of this in so that as the, my, the, as the alliums grow, they put roots out, they find the mycorrhiza, they start to feed it. So by the time winter comes around, I can take a pot or a module of these perennial, perennial alliums and the mycorrhiza is already established in the pot, actually in the compost, because they've been fed by the allium, okay? So by the time I plant the tree, all I do is I plant one or two of these around the tree and what that will do is it's establishing an existing mycorrhizal fungi that's got going and so it's much quicker for it to establish a connection with the bare root tree rather than just sprinkling a bit of this in the hole. So um, what I'm using here is just normal peat-free compost uh, and this one is Chaos Fungorum. It's my favourite because these are edible, uh, all of the edible fungi that grow out of these mycorrhizal fungi. Um, and every year it varies a little bit and it's a bit of a, it's a UK thing so you won't find this probably overseas but they're a bit of a mystery in the sense that mycorrhizal fungi are a bit more random it's much easier to take a saprotrophic fungi something that will eat a log or a bag of straw because you can control it and you can control, control the amount of food it gets and so then when it runs out of food it starts to fruit Mycorrhizal fungi are a bit more random, but at some point in the future, hopefully we'll see some uh, edible mushrooms <laughs> popping out of the ground around our trees. Uh, but for now, so all I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of compost, popping it into one of these pots, taking a little of the sporulite, and this um, is on biochar, so it's, it looks a little different from some of the others you can get. There's another one that's very popular in and around Europe, it's called Root Grow. Uh, that looks a bit more like cat litter, it's a sort of a grey crumbly powder. I'm just putting a little bit of this in the pot, don't need too much of it. I'm just going to mix that in a little bit and add a bit more compost. Pat it down a little bit. And I think rather than putting all of these in, because there's a lot, I'm just going to break that off into a small chunk. Maybe we'll do those. Okay. I'll literally just pop that in the top. Bury that a little bit. And then I'm going to just soak that. And as you can see, they're established pretty quickly. These were in last week, I think, and they'll get away really quickly. So it doesn't matter if you haven't quite got this yet got here yet. Um, once you've done it, it's a job. You can put them out the way, they can be outside and they can just carry on growing and when you need them for your trees in the winter, they'll be ready for you.